This is the second time in a week that we are packing up because of wind. I mean, I don't know if you can see it. It's all hazy out there. There's a sandstorm kind of thing blowing through here. It's just terrifying. It looks like our awnings are gonna rip off. And... <laughs> Look at that. Oh! Whoa! Yeah, so anyway. Looks like he changed direction too. Nice. So we just moved over to the other corner and angled ourselves into the wind a little bit. As you can see, it's just like dusty from all the wind out there. It's just horrible. So we're gonna leave the slides partially closed up and have ourselves a inside day on the computers instead of going hiking and doing all the fun things we were gonna do. So awful out. All right, we're leaving the place we've been for a couple days. This is where we ended up in the high winds. This is the visitor center parking lot just in front of the uh, Bay Bridge tunnel system. It's not a bad place to stay for a night or two if you need. And now we're on our way to our campground. We are now on one of the narrowest roads been on in a while. <laughs> so now we've even lost our center line. We're here. Ranger. Can't do anything. Ranger, Ranger. Hey, Ranger, go ahead. Yep. Hi, we're here to check in. We're the Mortons. Yeah, give me a couple minutes, I'll be there. Sounds good. All right, sounds good. All right, we got all set up here at Virginia Landing. We have a beautiful spot along the water. You can look out the back window there and see the ocean. Pretty awesome. Unfortunately, we got a bit of an issue. We have this slide-out room here that has started giving us some trouble. We heard some clunking over on this side before, and if you look down here, you'll notice that we're all tied up against the wall right there, as it should be. Come over here, and we got a good gap. And I think what's happened is that it skipped a gear on the gear pack that equalizes the sides. Uh, that was the clunking that we heard, probably because it's worn a bit. So unfortunately I'm going to have to cut into the bottom, take the gear pack apart, and hopefully line it up so that we can get this, this straightened out and then figure out how to get it lined back up so it quits doing this. How fun. Alright, so step one, open up the bottom here since uh, the entire underside of our rig is enclosed here. Alright, so here's what I'm working on. This is the gear pack right here. I'm gonna probably remove those two bolts to allow this to drop down so that going across there, it can uh, we can realign the gears. And then I'm gonna to try to figure out why it slipped to begin with. So I realized the entire weight of the slide is supported on the rollers on the uh, in the gear. I don't know if you can see it in there. Uh, so to get the weight off, I just kind of use this bottle jack underneath the uh, the gear here so I'm pressed up a little bit now I should be able to take the bolts out and reset the gear there we go you can see I got the gear pack apart I got the bolts out and it dropped down so now we can go ahead and push the um, push the slide out we got her all tightened up again it required Caitlin pushing with her legs and me pushing on the outside and it did not slip into place as we expected um, Probably because partially I've got it jacked up and partially just because, I don't know, it's a lot of weight. Um, but we did get her lined up, so now I'm going to put it all back together. We're going to run in and out, and we'll see what happens. Here we are on Chincoteak Island. Just like the sign. We're now on Assateague Island where the wild ponies live. We're on our way out to the lighthouse right now and we're going to be doing some hiking. 
look, lighthouse in the woods. It's like a war zone with all the wind damage around here. Jeez, these windy days have been awful. Look at that, all just snapped off. Eaten. Here's our first glimpse of wild ponies. They're just eating the grass. They're awful far away. There's some horse butts. Some sort of an antenna or a reflecting dish? I don't know. Point that way. What's out there? Not much. You see some ponies out there. So I just washed the truck, literally like yesterday, and look at this. You see the pollen on this thing? Isn't that nuts? A little bit of a dew this morning, and it's just, it's just crazy. I mean, this happens every spring, but you know, <laughs> just kind of frustrating, right, when you have to, after you wash it. Across the Chesapeake Bay Bridge Tunnel. I gotta go turn the propane off again. We just spent the night at JK's restaurant in their parking lot here in Kill Devil's Hill. Uh, our family member works here and we had dinner here last night and they were kind enough to let us just stay the night here. It was a little bit tight, but it was awful nice of them, so thanks guys. This annual pass is already coming in handy. Here we are at the Wright Memorial on Kitty Hawk, Kill Devil Hills. Oh, it's a it's a Harry. It's not a Harrier. It's a uh, Osprey. Whatever they call that hovering plane. How cool is that? He's he's look at that. His propellers are going up. He's in almost hover position. Look at all the cool airplanes flying around here. This is so cool how of all the major technological accomplishments that humanity has made over the years, I think that flight is probably one of the, the biggest, uh, biggest jumps at least, and it took place right here. It's cool to be here. Here we are! Oh, I'm 
Yeah, it took a chunk of the first plane to the moon. Cool. And there it is. And then the single rudder on the back. The rudder creates the adverse yaw that coordinates the turn. Just like a rudder on the boat in the direction that you want to go basically pushes you in the direction you want to go. So this rail is what they ran along. That's where the plane first took off and there's where it landed, that first stone. Since the wind is like 20 miles an hour, we just ran that probably about 9 miles an hour. So I was actually going like 29 miles an hour there. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, let's go over to the big monument. So this is Kill Devil Hill where the Wright brothers made some of their first flights with their uh, original gliders. It was originally a big sand dune, but they stabilized it with grass and built this giant memorial on it in 1932. And it's a really cool site. There it is. Their memorial. That's so cool. What a view back there. sand dunes over there we're going to be going to in a little bit. There's where they made their first powered flights, way down there, and this is the hill that they, they flew off. I can see why, it's freaking windy. Alright, where are we now? We are at Jockey's Ridge State Park, supposedly like the biggest dunes on the East Coast. Awesome. It looks like they do hang gliding here. Not today. No, not today. That thing is going to town today. Well, there's hang gliders, but no pilots. Looks like somebody crashed. Look at that sand blowing. I'm getting sand blasted. Probably not good for the camera. Woo! Woo, that sand is blowing. Boy, isn't this got stuff cool? It doesn't take long for the sand to start. So we have left the Outer Banks. The wind blew us off the island. It was so cold. Uh, we were planning to go to a campground that had just opened for the season, but the sand was blasting us so bad off the beach that we decided uh, we wanted to head inland. We're headed for the farm that we've been to prior um, in uh, just north of Charlotte. And uh, right now we're in the middle of nowhere, North Carolina at Walmart. We really wish we could have stayed out on the Outer Banks for longer. We have family out there, but the wind was just too cold and blustery for us. So maybe next time. Yeah, it's been a long day, so now we're going to get some sleep. Yes. Bye.